but it's also a question that came up from Ed as well. So Hi, I, I want to make sure I ask it. How how can someone now get started with voiceover work? Is equipment important? Important, um, yeah. and in voiceover work, I would probably say yes, but you might have a different slant. Um, but how can somebody get started now? Because it is such a different industry. Is it? Is there somewhere people can go to find all the different commercial production teams they should talk to, or? You, you need a microphone the size of your face is what you Absolutely, need. Yeah. That's, 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 that's it. Um, okay, here's the, oh, I like that. Which one have you got? What have you got? Um, this is uh, just a, a newer. It's really good, actually, for the price. Um, I think I paid 60 quid for this. 30 um, quid? Free biscuits. That's good. Yeah. Things, it sounds It sounds all right. It sounds good. Well, here's the truth of it. Uh, was it Ed? Hello, Ed. How you yeah, doing? Ed, yeah. The, the entry level is so affordable now. To get into this um the, the the first thing that anyone needs to get into voiceover work or to get into any work any especially creative work the first thing that anyone needs to do is get good that's the first thing they need to do now you don't need to spend a lot of money on getting good that just takes <laughs> practice and nurturing your skills and being a good self-critic and you know that but the when i when i when i started um when we started back before we were even born the the cost of entry was a lot so you needed to buy an expensive microphone that needed to be plugged into a an audio interface or a mixing desk and then you needed a generator with with, with <laughs> animals that that would power it on a, on a special wheel and and you know it, it was it, it, the the cost of entry was was high and the size of what you needed was large. Um, technology is our friend. Technology is your friend, Ed. So to start off with, I would use your phone. Seriously, because the first thing you need to do is get good. So what I would, if if you, well, if you have a little microphone, great. Um, I carry around with me. I used to carry around with me pre, pre-apocalypse. When I would travel around or, or fly to the States or anything like that, I would have in, in my hand luggage a little microphone, and it was a little USB microphone. Um, you, know, you wouldn't record a, an animation thing on that, but it was lightweight, and it can get you there. It was about 110 quid. Mm-hmm. And um, I would take it with me so that in an emergency, I could record something. So here is, you know, the, the, I mean, my my setup, Ed, is this microphone, which is a TLM forty nine. It's a beautiful microphone, and it's what we use for doing uh, TV shows, films, games, commercials, name it. It's that, and that goes into a Rupert Neve mic preamp, which is over here. It, it, this uh, you know. After after the apocalypse uh, has completely gone nuts, once the volcano has, uh, has stopped burning, all that will be left is this microphone and this Rupert Neve mic preamp. It's gorgeous. So the chain is microphone, preamp, then an audio interface, um, which is a high-end RME Babyface Pro audio interface into the Mac. You don't need that. You could get to start off with, get yourself a little microphone for 110 quid and plug it in your iPad or your iPhone, um, or just use your phone. And to, to get started, you need to get good because people aren't going to give you work if you're not any good. <laughs> and I would genuinely, I'm, I don't have any around here. I was going to say, pick up a magazine and read it and make it come to life. And it depends what your what your strengths are. Are uh, do you want to do character performance? It might be that you're a really good, just ju- you just got talent and you're a really good actor, or you can, you're funny, or you've you've just got something in you that you think other people will find useful. Well, sh- well, record it, listen to how it actually sounds. It might sound like junk, or it might sound absolutely terrific. Now, when you're listening to something that you're recording, especially when you're starting out, sometimes it might sound like junk. But here's the good thing. If you're an honest crit- uh, critic about your own work, you can listen back to it and go, that's not so good. Why isn't it so good? And yeah. then figure out why it's not so good and figure out how to fix it. And then you can use that next time. Then you can go, but that bit was terrific. Why was that terrific? How can I use that again? And you just get better. The more that you do, the better you get. It's like cooking. 
So, you know, it, it's, it's, it's that, you know, the more you get, I mean, I, I can't draw, I can't paint. I, I can't, I want to, I can't, um, ha but I've never really tried. Is that weird? I thought it'd be okay, but I can't, but, we, but I've got okay at this because I do it every day. And there's a lot to be said for that. Do a little every day, a little bit every day. Yeah. But, but just do, like just do it little by little by little by little, by little becomes a lot. So. It really does. Yeah, it really does. It's like um, it's like vacuuming. You know, eventually you'll do it upstairs as well. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a guest bedroom. Oh, it's not going to a couple boxes. It's filthy, it, it? it's, speak for yourself, you dirty, dirty person. But, Ed, if you want to get into this, the, 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 the starting point is to just hone your craft because you have to go. Here's a really easy question. With, with so much of this, again, it's it's so easy to overcomplicate things. And there's something that um, I kind of do self-checks regularly, and you go, would I employ me? If you're sending, because someone's going to need to hear what you do. So you'll yeah. need examples uh, that you can either send them, or it's on a website or your Facebook, whatever, and and let people hear what you can do. Because if they if they can't hear what you can do, they're not going to employ you. So you need a little show reel or show reels to showcase what you do. And quite mm -hmm. simply, um, would you would you would that impress you if you were because the, there's a lot of competition out there because the the cost of entry is so easy now it is so low and the and in terms of the the, the barrier of tech you know it is it is not difficult now yeah. in terms of technology that isn't a barrier so you can you can get started relatively inexpensively um but the only thing that actually matters is is are you any good that's it and and, and you might be brilliant and then my career ends ed